All right, guys, so I've been kind of slacking with filming, uh, but this is the newest project. But I mounted a Harbor Freight crane on here with the ATV winch. So I have a uh, six by six like railroad tie here to simulate a log. Um, I'll show you kind of how it works. So it's ready for a thousand pounds. What you do is you pull this out and turn it. I should free, free spool it. So now you got the hook. Got it hooked up. Yeah, make sure your uh, clutch is back engaged here. Where's that? Where did I put that over there? Oh. Okay, so now you got the remote. Now keep in mind the 6x6 is probably only maybe 50 to 100 pounds. So I just got to reposition in the center here. As you can see, it easily picks this up. I actually stood on this and had it pick me up also, and it easily did that. So the crane itself is rated for a thousand pounds. So now at this point, you know, you got to be careful about putting it in the middle. You just push it and it'll swing and uh, with it fully extended I have access to the back and the front of the trailer so like I said I've been kind of slacking with filming this I just kind of was antsy to get going I just put a new tire on I did the wheel bearings painted it it was like all rust um, I still got to paint this yet this is a uh, car sealed and I got to hit it with some paint but uh yeah this thing's gonna be kind of nice um this is uh kind of built this for scrap until I have an add up for scrap um you know, it might be something I could take to work and then go make, you know, 100, 200 bucks after work kind of thing with just by myself. So, but, uh, you know, I also use it for loading lo large logs. So, but I don't have much into this crane. This crane was 150. The winch was about 50. Um, I also have a snatch block. If I'm dragging things long distance this way, I may just snatch block it down to the bottom so I'm not really tugging on this too much. And uh, I plan to use this in the re retracted position for heavy stuff, so. All right, so I just finished up uh, building these straps. Um, you basically just pull the cotter pin, and then this just comes off. So that's how you drop your uh, your gate. When I got it, it was all all screwed up. So I just built these. This is kind of how I've seen a lot of other trailers set up. Um, if I use this end up using this a lot i'd like to route that to a box on the front basically like a dump trailer um so the battery's out of the weather and i can just leave a battery in all the time but if i use it here and there i'll probably just share a battery with my uh big dump trailer so that way i'm not leaving a battery sit around because these things go bad and they're like 100 bucks so uh yeah i'm gonna go go give this thing a, a try um added a little snatch block so uh, we're gonna simulate like if I was going to pick something up or just something heavy to try her out and see how she works out. Um, if you can see how I mounted it, it's no weld. It's just a, a piece of half inch, I think it's eight by eight angle. And I bolted that basically into this, which I don't know how thick that is, maybe eighth inch. Um, and it's tied into this piece of eighth inch and then the main frame a little bit. But, um, I mean, I was laying on it, you know, fully extended myself, and it seemed to be okay. I mean, it, it bounces, but I think it's mainly the tires. 
yeah, I need some air. Uh, the other day I changed that tire without a jack, so I let the air out to put it on. But uh, all right, let's go have some fun here. All right, guys, so it did pick up a set of power forks. I was just in there as a guy's way, so I couldn't really get a video. Um, this is a good test. This is like an eight foot log right here. It's uh, 80 inches and it's oak. So, I mean, you know this thing's heavy. This has gotta be, I don't know. I don't know how heavy this would be, realistically. About a foot in diameter. That's probably 500 pounds, I would think. Maybe not. But uh, that's a decent test. I'll start with that one and see what happens. Um, those guys are getting pretty damn big. I don't really know if I want to rip this loader off the trailer. So, All right, let's see if I can do this one-handed here. Retract. It's kind of skidding the butt, too, which ain't the best. Man, this, this makes me nervous, I'll tell you. Usually you like to throw like a rag or something on this cable, but I don't know how you really can do it in this situation. All right. Let me uh, adjust it into the middle here. All right, so we're set up again here. I mean, it's, it's layering a little bit, but... That's a pretty beefy log, realistically. Let me see how hard it would be to spin this. Eight foot by a foot, which, uh, I mean, that's at least four man size pieces, I would say, because you would cut that, you know, say foot and a half. That's what, five pieces? And, and they're, you know, would be a little heavy by yourself. So let's see if I can spin this thing here. I mean, it's moving relatively easily, actually. So, right there. Definitely a, a two-hand job, though, I will say that. All right, so extend. So there you go, you got a eight foot by foot, uh, the one end is a little rotten, but uh, this side isn't. It seems like it's doing it easy. I also left a uh, snatch block on there, just in case I want to skid some wood to me or something. Okay, so this should be a pretty good torture chat test. It's a set of power forks with this big thing on the front. I don't know what the hell that is. But, uh, I mean, this has got to be pretty heavy. So I'm just going to see, you know, pick it up a little bit and see if it budges it. Um, if this mount fails, I want it to fail here versus on a site or something. So, all right, I'm gonna hook up here. All right, so we're hooked up. Um, I'm just gonna give it a little bit, but I'm not gonna manhandle it by hand. I just wanna see if it moves it. Wow, that is impressive. <laughs> Okay, so that thing's pretty damn strong then, basically. All right, I went on hook here. Just want to take a quick video of this uh, this last driveway I got it back into. Oh, it's tight, and of course it's like on the busiest road ever, so. Whatever, people are going to have to wait. It just sucks because I can't really see the far side. I mean, that thing's probably only six or seven foot wide, so. Ain't nothing but a peanut. One of the, uh, the times always got to be at the end of the day when you're tired. <laughs> yeah, so. All right. All right, another one done. Uh, these guys are at soccer practice or something. Until next time, guys. Time to get out of here and chill out.